Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's me, RP. Thank you so much for letting me steal some of your time. And let's check out Aquarius, the full version of the game. Let's go ahead and start a new story. All right, here we go. How about this? Look at this, a new fish tank that our father just brought us because I'm a 14-year-old, you know, and uh, my father's very strong due to the fish oil that he drinks. You guys go ahead and read that, and we're just going to go ahead and get started here. And thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out with me and checking out Aquarius. This game was brought to my attention by somebody on our Discord, and uh, I said, yeah, I actually bought it uh, in its early access stage and played it just a little bit, uh, not too much, and uh, said, uh, yeah, definitely, let me check out the, uh, the full release. So here we go. Let's check out the full release. And uh, I'm just going to do what the uh, game tells me to do at this point. Uh, you guys can go ahead and read all of this stuff. This one is, uh, you know, information about making sure that we have the right, uh, the right water for the right fish. Basically, uh, salt water versus fresh water. So we'll just go ahead and move on. I've never named an aquarium before, so I don't know what to name aquarium. So we'll call it fish. Like I said, I'm just going to do what the game tells me to do. And we're going to build us a aquarium here right off the get-go, our own little small aquarium. Yeah, I'm anxious to see how it plays now. And uh, I don't know why I, I stopped playing it. I, I noticed when I loaded the game back up, I had five hours of gameplay. Uh, so I don't know how far I got in the game. Uh, I remember it, like this part, I remember because I've done it... Uh, once or twice before recording just to uh, make sure my mouse and everything's working. Uh, you know, getting my settings dialed in uh, for every game that you buy, right? Uh, I found that this was not hard to do at all, and I really like uh, the way it uh, acted in the game, so that's pretty cool. I like that. So right off the bat, uh, it's, it's super, super enjoyable. So let's go ahead and let's buy a rock. So you can, you know, resize stuff at a cost. So if you want it bigger, smaller, you do have that choice, which is awesome. Choice is always great in these games. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool now. I'm finding it very easy to interact with the objects and put them in the tank, not having any kind of difficulty there. So let's go ahead and grab some plants. Uh, I'm just going to buy one of everything, right? Why not? I think that'll look cool, a nice variety. So there's four of those, and let's go ahead and put those in here. Yeah, I could definitely get into this. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, if you like this, uh, like I said, it was suggested on the Discord, and if uh, you like uh, the gameplay, and, you, and if I'm doing a good job showing the gameplay, and you want to see more of it, don't forget, hit that like button for me. And uh, yeah, we could probably definitely... Uh, see more of this if you want to. All right. So like I said, putting things in the game now seems like real easy. Bang. That's, that's not hard at all. All right. So now we can make items in the game static. So I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, I didn't want to pick it up. I just want to right click on it and you guys go ahead and read that. And basically we're just going to make this so it's grounded. And if we want to add other items to it, we can. So let's keep moving on. See if we can get a lot done here. I want to try to get as much done as I can in this first uh, episode, this first look episode. And I accidentally bought two of these, but I can sell one of them by pressing G. All right. So I, I kind of kind of did a double tap there on the uh, purchasing. Didn't mean to do that. And we'll go ahead and put that right here. Actually, I, I want to put it more right here. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. And uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. There we go. We've got oxygen now. What else do we need? I think we need a heater at this point, right? Yep. That would be the logical thing. Let's grab this. We'll throw it on the glass. We'll keep all of our uh, aquarium uh, tools right on one glass like that. You know what I'm saying? I think it'll be a lot easier for us. Go ahead and grab our thermometer. So, yeah, I guess... I can't remember uh, too much about the game other than the fact that I guess we're in a story mode game. If I can get this on here. Hold on. I'm very finicky. All right. There we go. I want it right above this. There we go. Those two in line. That looks good. Very good. 
All right, the aquarium is now ready for some fish. Let's go ahead and get some fish real quick here. Two fish. All right. Put you in there. And we'll put you in there. All right, very good. We got our fish in there. And we can inspect the fish. We right-click on them. So let's go ahead and do this. We can uh, check the hunger, temperature, plants, decorations, fish amount, and water pH. All right, and right now everybody's doing good, except they're a little hungry and they're not too uh, they're not too keen on their decorations. And over here on the left, we've got uh, some icons that we need to be aware of. These are warning icons. So we've got a uh, vegetation, our fish, and our O2. We can name the fish, okay? So here's what I'm gonna name this fish. Gold D. <laughs> no, Goldie is this way, right? Goldie, yeah, we'll do Goldie like that. Hey, there's Goldie the goldfish. Uh, we need to take care of the fish. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll grab food, find the food here in the store and just buy one. Yeah, I hope everybody's having a great day today. And uh, if, if you're enjoying this, please encourage me to do more of it. It looks like a pretty cool game you ask me all right it does all right so that takes care of that they should be fed let's right click on a fish all right very good there oh the temperature we did not turn on the heater let's go ahead and turn the heater on we did turn it on but we need to adjust the temperature to 71 and let's go ahead and add some decorations to boost their morale we'll add this rock we'll get one of these we'll get a tree by that and we'll buy this column. And that should give us three items. And now what I like about this is if we get close enough to the gravel, like one click, and it puts it right into the gravel. So we can put it right there. The rock is heavy, so it's just gonna stay in place on its own. And again, we can do the same thing with this. If we want to turn it around, hold the right mouse button down and then use your left mouse button to rotate it. I'm going to go ahead and put this item right in the ground, stick it right there. And now our fish are happy and they should breed. So as soon as we get a little baby fish, uh, we'll see what's next. Okay, we got the new fish and now we can sell fish. So if I use the Q again and bring up my tank, I can just go ahead and pick a fish to sell. So we'll keep Goldie. And uh, yeah, I don't even know if I spelt that right. So <laughs> there's that's a laugh if I didn't. But anyway, uh, something is missing here. Uh, we need a background. So let's go ahead and purchase a new background. I'm going to go ahead and buy two of these because uh, I do know you need two in order to complete this. So we'll put the first one on right here. And then we'll put the second one on right there all right and then we have that and now what we can do is you could take an item we'll take this rock for instance and if we move it into the back of our tank and i'm rolling my mouse wheel to move it and right here we can we can place this right on the back of the uh, uh the background so we've, we've done that and that satisfies that and now we need to buy a scraper so we'll do this real quickly and boom there you go grab this scraper and this is how we get rid of backgrounds all right excellent we're gonna toss this right here and what else do we need to do we need to buy a lamp let's go ahead and do that and let's go ahead and put the lamp on our tank and this should do it for us let's see here put it right in the middle right click on it turn it on I'm gonna change the color to yellow because the background has tones of yellow and green and we turn it up halfway and there we go we've got our finished uh, aquarium all right there's our aquarium looking pretty good now if we want to get rid of a decoration we just pick it up and throw it away now I don't know why I'm doing this it's gonna make our fish unhappy but that's what they want us to do and then after that if we want to actually climb inside the tank just click on it and then WSAD key and your mouse and check it out you're you're inside your tank and uh if you ask me this is a pretty cool feature of the game i am really enjoying this imagine a super huge tank and being able to swim through it 
All right, so just right-click your tank and you can get out of it. Hey, Pops, well done. Thank you, Pops. Uh, you need my help? Uh, absolutely, Pops. I'll be down in a second. And there we go. We hit level two. So we are uh, gaining levels, and with each level that we gain, we're going to unlock more items to uh, to build tanks with, which is awesome. We've got more fish. We've got more of everything. Let's go ahead and close that, and we need to go downstairs. So let's... I, I, I know we're going to need this, so let's grab this now, and let's head downstairs. And uh, this is the living room uh, right here in the house uh, with our nice TV. I don't know what this is, if this is something we interact with after we get done with our tutorial here. I don't know where the story goes at this point. I do remember this part of the game real quick, so we're going to basically refurbish this saltwater tank. So we'll go ahead and uh, thank you, Dad. I appreciate it. And uh, throw this stuff here because we're going to need it. I don't know who this young lady is. Don't know if she's my sister or my mother. But if it is my mother, my father, well done, Dad. Well done. You, you deserve a pat on the back for that one. That is for sure. Let's go ahead and get our um, dead fish out of here. All right. So now we're buying a new tool. And here we go. You can pick them all up, all in one scoop, and let's go ahead and get rid of them, throw them right here in this garbage. All right, Dad, let me take care of this for you. Just uh, stand back, watch me do my magic. All right, I need a sponge at this point, so let's go ahead and buy that real quick. And let's get this mess cleaned up off the glass here. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and hold down our left mouse button and then just move this around and get everything cleaned, I guess. And uh, there we go. That takes care of that. Let's grab the back. Just going to clean this whole mess, all right? Just kind of reminds me of um, House Flipper when you're uh, washing the windows, except we're doing it underwater. Right. I don't know how we're pulling this off, but we're pulling it off. We're able to swim inside our tank with the, uh, with the magic ability to reduce our size and become a fish. That's, that's what I'm going to say. Let's throw this down here. I think we need to clean this up by bringing it over to the sink, clicking on the sink, and just rotate this freely underneath the water. Uh, different directions, I believe, will help get it uh, sped up quickly. I don't know if, it, if, if that even does anything, to tell you the truth. <laughs> if you just hold it under there and it does the same thing. But we'll put that right there. And let's grab another uh, gucky piece and do the same thing. You know, the funny thing is, is we're doing this in the sink that has uh, dishes and cups in it already. So, yeah, you do have to move it or else it will not uh, clean. All right, so the faster you move it, I guess, maybe the faster it cleans. I don't know. Just checking it out, if you know what I'm saying. All right, so we'll put that right there. Grab our thermometer. Get it cleaned up real quick. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think of this game. Go ahead and uh, do me a favor and uh, drop a comment. Tell me if you played the game and uh, what, what's your experience with the game. Do you like the game? Uh, is this your cup of tea? That's what I'd like to know, all right? Is it your cup of tea? I could definitely get into this. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're going to buy a hose so that we can drain the water, which is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and buy that. Pick it up here. Touch the tank, and that automatically does that. Let's go ahead and get a bucket now. I think the bucket should be in here. Double dots, and then right here. Yeah, let's buy this bucket. And I think if you just touch the hose with the bucket, yeah, it starts the, uh, the emptying process. And we'll go ahead and we'll use the sink. Dump it right on the dishes. I'm sure if that's my mother over there, she's super happy about this. Don't worry, Mom. I'm only 14. I don't know any better. And uh, Dad does not seem to mind, but uh, what, what can I tell you? Go ahead and drain out the tank. Yeah, playability right now uh, is uh, 
flawless. I mean, it is not hard to do anything uh, in the game. It's very intuitive. Uh, everything seems to be working exactly like it should be. So, yeah, right now, on a scale of 1 to 10 for fun, I'm going to give this, uh, I believe we're done. Am I right? Yeah, we are done. Uh, I'm definitely going to give this, throw that on the ground. I'm going to give this a, a 10 right now for fun. I'm not exaggerating. So far, so good. All right, where is my shovel? Right there. Let's go ahead and get rid of this old dirt. Get this tank fully cleaned up. Yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying a, a, a first look at this. Hope I'm giving it uh, a good... Uh, a good look for you guys so that you guys can see exactly what the game is. Where did that go into one? Okay. Let's go ahead and put a new bed of uh, gravel here. Now we could have bought a new uh, bag and, you know, done a different uh, soil, but we already own this one and I don't want to spend the money. <laughs> so, and since this is kind of like a tutorial type thing, we'll just go with it, right? All right. That's full. Excellent. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff on the ground. And we need our bucket. And let's go get some water. And fill this up. So we're going to need four buckets of water to get this one filled back up. Which is not bad. Dump that in there. Yeah, very, uh, very uh, soothing game, right? But still, you know, you still have to take care of things. So there's still a little bit of uh, challenge to the game. But uh, yeah, overall, very enjoyable. Very uh, curious to hear what you guys think about the game. And like I said, this was brought up on our Discord. And uh, it is in full release. You can get this on Steam. And uh, I'm kind of glad I got this now in early access and didn't play that much of it. And I'm playing it now in the full release because I'm having a blast with this. This is awesome. Buy and pick up the salt. Okay, we got to change our water. Let's throw this on the ground. We need to buy some salt here. That's right here. Let's buy salt. And let's go ahead and dump it. Yep, yeah, I'm good with that. Please make it salt water. I understand the consequences. Let's go ahead and turn on our oxygen and let's go ahead and enable our temperature and I think what we're going to do is go with 78 and that should be good. Now if we open our journal uh, it'll tell us what we need to do for this aquarium. So let's go ahead and build this aquarium real quick for our father and we need a couple of lights so let's buy two lights. And uh, let's see, what else do we need? We do need uh, this plant life. So if I believe, I believe we need six. Yeah, six of these. So let's go ahead. Well, we got different ones here that we can get, you know. So let's go ahead and get, uh, I like this red one. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, two of those. And we'll get two of these. And uh, let's get... Um, Let's see I like this one right here let's go ahead and get two of these and that should be six now we could change the uh, the height of these so I think I might make these a little taller uh, just for fun you know just to check that uh, mechanic out all right and now we need uh, some coral uh, so let's get nine pieces of coral I'll, I'm gonna get this one right here this is gonna be my centerpiece buy that and then I'm gonna get uh, one of these and I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna get two of these. And uh, let me get two of the purple ones. And I, I like this one right here. Oh, this one actually looks pretty cool too. Let me buy one of these. And uh, I don't know how many that is, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff in first. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get it as close to the edge as possible like that. Uh, let's see, where's the other one? Oh, let's put the lights on. All right, I'm going to put the lights on right there and grab this one. And we'll go ahead and put that one right there. Let's take a look, see how that looks. That looks center. Uh, actually, I think I could put this light a little bit 
more. There we go. That looks good. So let's turn on these lights. And I think for this tank, what I want to do is go with pink because it's coral. You know, it's going to give it that coral look. And we'll go with a, um, a 20 for strength. And this should look pretty good. It should make the uh, bottom look uh, very uh, tropical and, you know, fit in with a coral theme. Let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Look at that, right? Very good. All right, let's go ahead and finish this off with this. And I want to try to get this right there. It looks good. So where are the long ones? They're right here. So what I want to do is I want to get my long ones facing right there. Go to the other side. Put this one right there. And I have this. Let me go ahead and place that right there. I mean, I would go to town. I would buy more than what the uh, what the game is telling me to do here. Uh, I do think there is a limit, though, because the fish do have a decoration uh, tolerance. Go ahead and put that right there. Now, uh, before I go any further, let me let me grab a um, a background real quick, right? I like this background, so we're going to go ahead and go with this. I think it'll fit with our theme nicely. And the reason is I want to grab this, and I think I want to put this on the background if I can. Object is touching the glass. Can I get it on the background? Yeah, I can, right there. Object will be placed on the background. I want to get it a little lower, right there. Look at that. Perfect. So that's on the background. I like that. What else? We got this one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to rotate this around, get it looking in the direction that I want. See if I can. How can I get this to spin? There we go. All right. With a little bit of uh, luck, you can get it to do what you want. I'm going to go ahead and touch it just a little bit and then stick it right to the gravel. That way it doesn't move. Let me see if I can get this one facing the way that I want. And I think that'll do it. And we're going to do the same thing here. Let me straighten it out. Let me see if I can, fl I want it to face, the only thing is, is I don't know, I can rotate, there we go, that's what I wanted, all right, cool, stick that right there, where is this guy, I want this guy in the center, sort of like this, we're going to stick him as well into the gravel, right there, and I'm going to put these on either side, just like that, got this one right here, go ahead and just drop him like that, and a little touch of purple, Go ahead and stick this straight up, and we'll do the same thing. Stick it right into the ground. Yeah, it's really easy to place items. I'm really enjoying uh, the decoration process, without a doubt. Oh, that looks good, right? Right, that looks good. Okay, very good. Actually, yeah, it looks great. Let's leave it alone. All right, what else do we have to do here? Uh, I need one more uh, coral. All right, awesome. Let me see. Let me grab another coral real quick. Let's get one that we don't have. Uh, well, this looks pretty. Oh, I like these. Let's grab this. That looks cool. Oh, yeah. This looks cool. I like this. Let's go ahead and we'll put this uh, right here. Just like that. Perfect. Lovely. I dig it. What do you guys think? Right? The pink? Everything looks cool, right? All right. Let's go ahead and get some fish for this and put it in. We need the regal blue tang. We need three of these. So let's go ahead and grab those. We'll throw those in first. Grab these guys. Toss them in. And we'll use these fish to check our uh, perimeters. Make sure everything is up to snuff here. Everybody's happy except for our pH balance, okay? We need to correct that. So let's buy some pH booster because I believe it's low. Yeah, I think it's on the low side, so let's go ahead and throw about, uh, I'd say maybe that's four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd say about eight of those should probably boost that pH up. Let's see. Yep, absolute. Perfect. They're, they're perfectly happy. Let's go ahead and top this off with some seahorses. I believe we need five of these to complete this uh, aquarium for our dear old dad. Let's go ahead and uh, toss some of these seahorses in here. There we go. Looks like a pretty cool aquarium to me. And that's it. We completed it. All right, Dad. I hope you're proud of me, and thank you so much. And uh, enjoy your new aquarium. And I think you should take Mom out for, uh, you know, seafood dinner.
Oh, hi, what a beautiful aquarium. If you are so talented, maybe you could help me with my aquarium. My cat is constantly trying to eat my fish, and they don't feel very well. Please help me. I don't know how to fix this. Of course, I will pay you for your help. When you finish decorating the aquarium here, come to me, and I will take you to my house. Uh, okay. We are now level three. We get more stuff. We get a mop now. I wonder what the mop is for. But yeah, we're, we're, we're making strides here. We're getting more fish, more of everything. And this young lady would like us to, uh, to help her out. And if you guys think that's a good idea, I think what you need to do is hit that like button so that we know to go help her. And uh, young lady, if we get the right response to this video, we'll definitely go check out your situation and help you out. So in the meantime, thank you everybody for joining me. Let's go ahead and take uh, one last look at this beautiful aquarium that we built. And I hope to catch you guys in another episode of Aquarius. And until then, ta-ta and bye-bye.